Welcome along and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Uh, where today we are going to fill up our trailer and get it uh, filled with probably three more trees worth of logs. Uh, there's the one I was looking for. And, uh, and then take it down to the sawmill. So a little bit of a repetition of what we've been doing recently. Uh, we want to get uh, stuff through there and sorted really i think we're probably going to have some stuff down at our wood turner as well oh there it is sometimes these are a little bit difficult to uh to get access to that's got it uh we had a third tree down this way somewhere as well um but yeah i want to get these uh, out the way first these um these stumps and um, we'll do that with our little uh teleskid here turn that off and we can move out of the way and now we can pop into this area and have a little bit better of a look I'm trying to concentrate on that and uh, and get the uh things started here it was a little bit interesting but we've got those out of the way because uh we're going to be working in this area a bit more today i want to take this tree uh, 23, uh, 35, we definitely want that tree. Um, I think we probably want that tree at 36. And we're going to have to get... I want to get this one, but uh, it's a little bit more difficult to get at. So we might have to take a couple of smaller ones. Uh, certainly, though, we'll start with... Uh, not that one. Well, yeah, we'll start with this one. Clear some uh, some space down. So let's mark these because uh, we're taking specific trees. So that one there, that one there, and this one here. Nice and easy. And is there anything a little bit... What sort of height is this? This looks really thick. Uh, it's a 35-foot spruce. I think that will have trouble at the end. So we'll take that one as well. Right, and uh, yeah, we need to cut these. So we will cut them in this direction. Going like this. So one, two, and three. Before we head over and get the last one done. And that makes four. All cut and ready for us to chop into the smaller logs. Right, I think this first tree here, this is probably going to cause us issues. I think it's very likely to be too thick at the bottom end. So we'll see whether it, uh, whether it will take it. And we want to pull that in, push it down. Yeah, tree is, uh, so yeah, tree is too thick. So the way to do this is to head down okay ah okay we're good uh so the point at which it gets too thick is about here-ish i think no in fact it's the very bottom cut nope no cut there cut there that's not bad at all actually i was expecting that to be much worse um, and us to have a, a huge, huge problem trying to cut that tree. Uh, what we do have with all of these is we're going to bring them down here and try and get them through this gap. And the trip, because we're pulling it out of an existing area, it's not overly going to be happy about that. So we might have to pull it down the mountain a little bit first and then do it. And, uh, and bring it around. Maybe take this uh, this little branch out here because as you can see, it's not wanting to go forwards when I uh, I spin right round. Oh, getting used to, yeah, getting this to come round. There we go. So that is very much in the way, this bit. Let's come into here and just cut this out like so and then that should make things spin around much easier to get into place but i'll watch the elbow of my excavator on the wires but we're all right 
and then we can just back this up into position and cut it into those six meter lengths yeah like that and cut perfect oh but if this tree has gone this well uh then uh the rest of this is gonna go incredibly smoothly getting it all back down to our logging camp and uh, and getting it loaded up wow that is a lot of wood off this second tree pulled through oh needs to get that arm in the right place there we go spin down a little bit you need to actually be it's one of those things where you need to actually be going forward with this or be absolutely stationary to get the uh the turn to work and i'll get these onto here a little bit further down the mountain than i normally like that spruce produced a lot more than that first tree uh, that second tree but that second tree was the shortest of the ones that we're dealing with at the moment uh that was the one that was only the 26 meter one i think so uh yeah was expecting that to be shorter and this is where our uh stump start get to get in the way i think it's underneath yeah there it is underneath the brush there can be slightly difficult to see reverse it up and turn away from it yeah scoot around and then we should be able to come around here and scoot around that one as well this tree fell quite a long way from its stump actually over that way but we should be able to get ourselves over it like that uh turn the head a little bit push the head out a little bit yeah and then down cut collect it and uh back we go yeah this is uh this is going fairly smoothly as it goes for this morning and that means that we should uh get these down and loaded up fairly quickly uh if i don't get stuck in amongst the trees I'm gonna need to spin myself around to get myself out a little bit of fiddling about and eventually i've i've got the tree out of there uh, need to bring that round slightly make sure that I can bring it right round and yeah up not bad uh, it's a little bit of an angle but it should still cut and get this lot on to the pile here this is going to take a little while to get it down to the logging camp I think we're in a position where we've got uh, quite a lot of larger heavier logs in this pile as well and as a result that means uh, we're not going to be able to get as many of them down in one go uh, we can get a maximum of four logs onto that pile at any given time so uh, or onto there at any given time so even the lighter stuff uh we we may not be able to to get lots of that in at once i think the trick will be to try and work out exactly uh which ones get us close to our 1500 uh kilogram or 15 uh, sorry 1.5 kilogram uh weight limit right this is hiding oh in there this is going to be an interesting one to get so i want to get that there we'll swing this round bring it up slightly and then in and we're targeting that so through there out spin the head uh that way we want it to cut at the bottom end so it's gonna go right around like that then we'll drop it down and we're not quite yeah depth perception in farmson not a great thing right right out Ah, oh, we're gonna have to drive a little bit closer forwards is backwards as it stands at the moment right and then down 
onto it and cut. No. Nope. And cut. There we are. Then what we can do is just pull it back towards us. And if we go into forwards, should be able to just pull it straight out of here. Turn ourselves around. There we go. And carefully negotiate our way out of this area so that we can add this tree to the pile and i think other than catching that stump there we're through and then we'll just add this tree to the pile and we can start transporting it down this is going to be more than enough to finish our trailer off in fact i think we may have to get uh, the higher spikes up at the top so uh yeah all good looking uh very nice and i think we're sitting a little bit pretty up the top of this hill here um we are gonna have to get some of these trees down uh it's just the ones we got to avoid are the ones that we're anchored to uh as long as we do that we will be absolutely fine right we do have this here let's come here and let's have a look at the weight of some of these so that's 856 that's 400 so if i go there and there that should be those two lifted up and uh we'll get the carriage to follow us and head down the bottom and so like last time we're going to create a pile of them down here let's let that get there lower it down and if we uh, can swing it as it lowers down and land it the right way there we go and then it'll swing back the other way and start creating us a nice pile down here uh you detach and we'll head back up the top uh so yeah i'm gonna get a pile of these and uh and we'll start loading them up we're down to our last few logs and I've tried to work it so that I've got a uh, as few trips as possible. Can I get this to connect to this? Come on, a little bit further. There we go. Yeah. So uh, I've been pairing logs up as best I can. I think the last couple of logs we're not going to be able to do much with. We're going to have to do two separate trips. Uh, that's because while we've managed to get these two, this one here is 659, and this one here is 883. So it's just slightly too heavy to uh, to get it done. Uh, so it's going to be a couple of jobs for those. Um, these two, though, can go down, and we'll add them to this pile of wood we've got here. I have just realized something, and I want to grab it before it disappears. In the shop at the moment, in the sales, we've got a mower and we need a mower for the grass we got on here. So uh, let's just grab this uh, nice and cheap. It is, uh, it's got 43 hours on it, but we're not going to be using it much. So it's actually pretty good for us. So let's buy that. Um, and then once we've got all of this finished, we can get that done and, uh, and go and pick that up. Let's get a good swing on this so that it will lay the bottom ends down on top of the pile and yeah everything is roughly facing the same way uh which is good that's gonna make it easier we can come in with this we can push this all together and get it starting to load up in a bit one last return up here for our carriage uh we're gonna connect it up to this log here so attach to the end of that uh nothing else here so lift that oh straight in the face right and yeah nothing else up here so uh let's go unload this down the bottom and yeah this is a really efficient way to do this get a good swing on bring it down and into the pile like that and B to drop it off. And then I'm going to stop that following me. Can we disconnect this? Because we're going to need the tractor in a bit. So 
can we? I don't think I can disconnect it from here. I think I have to disconnect it from the top. So I'll head up there and do that in a minute. First, we want to get these loaded up and uh, and all sorted out. So into our wheel loader. And I'm just going to open my grab right up and sort of push into our pile of logs. Uh, the idea being that we can then push them into uh, all going the same way and hopefully uh, making it easier for us to pick up. So yeah, look, you, you do that and, and then everything sort of gets in the same direction. And then if you sort of just move this about a little bit, you can then grab a pile of wood, pull it out and wow, that is a lot of wood we have in the front of here. I will be amazed if a whole load of this doesn't just fall off exactly like that. Um, what I can do now though, is uh rework this uh, a little bit uh we'll keep these two on here even things up make sure that we have everything in the middle and then with any luck i can get back underneath some of this and get it picked up again there we go back underneath it and get all five of these logs loaded into the trailer and straighten things up Bring it down. We're inside. Uh, we'll back off the other logs a little bit. And then release. And hopefully into the trailer they all go. Oh, wow. That is horrible. Yeah. Need to shift them about a little bit. Simply because otherwise we're just not going to get other logs into this trailer. But that's easy enough because all I do is grab them. Lift them up. And drop them down again. And then everything falls into place. We're getting pretty full at this point, And I think we might have to extend the top bits. Simply because that's... Uh, well, we've got a few bits left. And, uh, and we're kind of sitting up the top now. So let's bring this in here. I just want to reposition that a little bit more securely there we go jump into the truck and we'll come around here and we'll get these extended so up those go perfect oh and we'll turn the truck off because i'm always being told off in the comments for not turning the truck off uh, when i'm not using it and then uh, yeah we've got just this little pile left over here that is uh, fairly well sorted I've been maneuvering things about a little bit to try and uh, make it easier for me to load up. And oh, is this all gonna, can we get this in one go? That would be very sweet, but it's not really behaving itself. I'm going up on my, uh, up on the front. Actually, that might maneuver it. No, we're not quite got it. That's all right. Uh, if I could take the majority of it like this, we can then get this on the top and uh yeah just going got the single log to pick up and finish things off we might even put that on the front and uh and redo that because this is quite a lot of stuff going on the back here and on you go these little bits are a little bit more fiddly at this point and off yeah there we are uh i don't know whether it'd fit better on the back or the front in fact, to avoid me having to unstrap and restrap everything down, let's uh, put this on the back, I think. So grab it, pick it up nice and easy. Uh, the physics is doing so much better in the last update. And then up on top and load it in like so. There we are. And... On we go. Oh, wow, that did just fit. Fantastic. Right, strap it down. Which is great. And uh, then, yeah, we'll head over to the sawmill and unload that. And then uh, I think we need to take down our yard to set up. That way we will be able to pop down to the shop and grab that mower. Let's bring this down to this corner. This trailer is quite 
uh, highly loaded. I mean, the, uh, the, the center of gravity is fairly high on this. So, uh, it, it tends to want to topple quite, uh, quite readily. Uh, thankfully, we've managed to keep it on its wheels as we approach here. And this, uh, this pond, I really, really love this feature of the sawmill. It's so very, very cool. Right, I'll back it into here, not too deeply into the water, and undo all of our straps. And while this now is uh, getting unloaded, I'm going to go and take our yarder apart. So back up here with the Kubota, and I, can I take it apart from here? I think I can. Let's, yeah, there we go. That is taken apart. Uh, let's lift it up with this then. And I think we'll take this back down to our logging yard. We are going to be using it up here again. Uh, at some point in the future, I think. And we may even set it up going directly down to the sawmill next time to save us a bit of time. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's overly realistic, but um, uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We will... Uh, I'll let you guys decide in the comments. Let me know what you think to that. Um, we are going to drop this off here. I realize I come all the way down the hill in neutral then. We were basically just drifting the whole way down. Right, let's park this up here. Uh, unfold it again, because we uh, we need to do that before we can drop it down. Drop it down. Disconnect everything. And uh, yeah, let's head down to the shop and go and grab that mower. Ultimately, I think I might end up using this tractor as our main tractor for, for dealing with the sheep. So doing the mowing, doing the rolling, and, uh, and basically doing that side of things. Um, I think we might want to grab a more dedicated forestry tractor at some point if we can. Uh, personally, I'd like to grab one uh, on the sales. Um, but we could always get one uh, at least to buy. And uh, recently, I've grabbed a couple of mods um, that would be perfect for that. Wow, everything is emptied out of the used vehicle sales now. Um, but uh, there's a couple of tractors that uh, I think would be good for us. Do I have either of them in here? Yes. So there's this 5M series John Deere, which comes with a uh, full forestry setup. I think I showed this off last time. Um, I'd uh, I'd really like to really quite like to grab this and uh, and 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 get that with this forestry protection frame on. Uh, we are looking at eighty thousand, so a huge, huge chunk of our money to grab that. Um, the alternative is this one: is this T six, uh, which also has yeah a forestry cage set up on it. Um, but this is one hundred and two thousand because of the extra horsepower. Either of them would be nice, um, but uh, I think uh, that we need to, to hopefully get either of them in the sales. Um, the other way to go with this is in the forestry equipment. Uh, so forestry machines here. Uh, there's a few tractors in here as well uh, that come with uh, this setup. So uh, we've got this one, uh, which is the PM Track 3. Uh, that can be really nicely uh, kitted out with forestry stuff. Or you can take everything off it and uh, and just have a standard configuration. I think there are ways that you can put, yeah, just the crane on, which would give us the three point for the back for the yarder, or uh, just the uh, no. In fact, you, it's crane and blade, or uh, just the crane. So yeah, um, there's there's not the ability to put just the blade on it. Um, but that would be quite cool because that comes with a winch and uh yeah this is the other one the k300r gen 2 uh, which i think is a modified john deere and again this comes with crane and blade uh nothing at all uh is that i don't think that's a winch that it has on the front um and then just the crane or, or the crane and blade so yeah there's not a huge uh amount of choice uh without the crane you do and then you don't get that back three point. But uh, we'd have to wait for any of those to come up in the uh, shop uh, used to do that. 
So um, at the moment we are sticking with our Kubota, which has a few hours on it, um, but is still uh, still doing us very well for what we need. So we'll turn this back down here and return it to our logging camp, uh, which, uh, yeah, we are getting very nicely kitted out here. We probably could spend some of the 100,000 we got actually sorting our logging camp out that would uh, that would be really useful i think um but we just need to finish off unloading these logs here uh, that will get things running really nicely in the sawmill and we want to reactivate everything we've got twenty six thousand liters so let's reactivate all of our wooden productions in here uh, give us plenty of stuff to be working with and uh yeah as the sun begins to set uh on this october day uh we are done so all the remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye